a study that uh, in American power, in American power, in a single phase, you have 120 volts, uh, how much hertz? Uh, 60. 60 hertz, or 60 cycles in one second. How you calculate data, data frequency? What is the formula for the frequency? What is the formula, guys? The number of poles times the engine RPM divided 120. And we discover that uh, we have uh, the frequency 60 hertz for American is equal to 4 poles times the RPMs and divided by 120. And we discovered that those RPMs for American power are? 1800. 1800. Why four poles? Because the majority of the generator they have? Four. Four poles. Ah, Mr. Lopez, I have a feature panda generator. And that generator only have two poles. Well, then use two. Ah, okay. If that generator only have two poles, the generator run at 3600 RPMs to produce, to produce 60 hertz. That's okay? But the majority are four poles. In other words, those generators in America are running at 1800 RPMs with four poles. Uh, what, about, what about the frequency for European power? 50 hertz is four poles times 1500 RPMs and divided by 120 and this is 50 hertz. 50 hertz. That's okay? This is European power and this is American power. Pay attention because this is the most important part of this explanation. If I have an, an American generator and the generator is single phase, that generator in that phase produce 120 volts, 60 hertz. That's clear? An American generator. If I have a European generator, that generator, single phase generator, in that phase produce 230, 50 hertz. 230, 50 hertz. Anybody follow me? Ah, the European generator in one phase produce 230. In one phase. The American generator in one phase produce 120. Nice, no? Why? And someday, because the thickness of the wire and the amount of loops, you remember? For that generator is 230, for this generator is 120, in each phase. And one day, the American guy said, Europeans 230, and me 120, that's impossible. I need. Make it two phase. May, uh, the difference. <laughs> and the gringo said, mm, okay, I am going to put two phases. Between both of them, I have 240. Mm. 240. <laughs> versus 230, 230 is less. But uh, the European guy said, yes, I have 230, a little less than you, 240, but uh, I am 230 in one phase. And you need two phases to produce 240. I am more efficient, say the, the European. Okay, all right. The American guys, to get 240, they need two phases. The European guys, to get 230, they only need one phase. <laughs> it's a huge difference. All right? How the European guys obtain 110 or 115? Because they produce in one phase 230. 
but uh, for single appliance, the majority of them are 110, 115, no 230. How, how they reduce that power? Excuse me? You remember yesterday we talked about this. What is this? This is a step down transformer. You remember yesterday? How much is at the input in this coil, the coil of the, of the primary coil? 120. And uh, in the secondary, there are two or three small coils. One coil between this and this, 40 volts, 60 volts, 20 volts, AC. A step down. Anybody follow me? Ah, okay. How is the outlet for American Power, guys? The outlet for American Power is, is, is like this, no? Hot, neutral, and other rounded ground, no? This one is not good. Uh, and look at this. This is the, uh, the, the outlet for? European. European. Hot, neutral, and ground here in the base, you see? Ah, but between this and this, you have 230, 230, 230. In America, between this and this, you have 120. 120, 230. But the European guys, okay, I am going to design this element. It's a transformer and step down transformer, and I pass from 230 into 115. I divide it in two. And I have here between this and this, 115, and this is the ground. And they say, bingo. American guys, connect this one in my European boat, put that one on the saloon in your boat, and the people have 115. 115 is pretty close to 120, no problem. And the people say, let me connect my radio here. Oh yeah, music. Let me connect the computer, oh yeah. But uh, I have a problem. This is 230, 50 hertz. No? And here I have 115, 115, 50 hertz. You only reduce the voltage, not the frequency. The frequency stays the same. Ah, and my appliance in the United States are for 120. OK, 120 with, with 115, no problem. But uh, my appliances are designed for 60 hertz. When I connect my equipment here, the equipment is running, but uh, after 20 minutes running, it's too hot because the frequency is different. Ah. Okay, I reduce the voltage with this step down transformer but the frequency stay 50. Ah, Mr. Lopez, but the fan is running. Okay, it's running, but the fan is not running at the same speed. It's a little lower, 17% lower. Oh, the light is, is, is on, but the intensity is a little less. You understand, guys? It's difficult, that concept? No, but how do we overcome that? No, they work. They work. Yeah, but they you, have, they have yeah. the adapter. You you have adapter plug it in the wall and then but the adapter it. only change the voltage, and you can connect, no problem. And everything is. If you have a laptop, you don't have any problem. No, okay. uh, it's no. not. If you have a, the, the charger for the cell phone, no problem. Oh, if you want to connect a pump to pump it water yeah. for six hours, mm, uh, uh, that's okay. 